Hello folks, I have a question for you. What is it that helps you when you meditate on the power and glory and majesty of God? Is it the miracle of a newborn baby? Is it a soaring piece of music? Well, for me, it's looking up at the night sky, hence the telescope behind me. And also I've just noticed the three Van Gogh pictures behind me as well. Um, one of my favorites is to look at the Andromeda galaxy. Now this is a galaxy of uh, billions of stars uh, it just is a very faint grey smudge in the sky if you know where to look at for it. Um, but when I look at it, I know that light has taken two and a half million years to get from the galaxy to my eyeball. And that just knocks me over, really does. Even in the Bible, uh, people were aware of the stars. And Job, even in his suffering, found that thinking about the stars and the creator God who made them encouraged him. He says this, God's wisdom is profound. His power is immense. He alone stretches out the heavens. He is the maker of the bear, a constellation, and of Orion, the Pleiades, and the constellations of the south. He performs wonders that cannot be fathomed and miracles that cannot be numbered. Who can say to him, what are you doing? Job was suffering badly with sores from head to toe, but he found that looking up at the night sky put things in perspective and he could meditate on the greatness of his creator God. One more interesting fact for you, when we look at the bear, which is the plow, we can see it to the north every night of the year from here, uh, the light of some of those stars has taken three to four thousand years to reach us, which means that we're actually seeing those stars as they were at the time of Job. God performs wonders that cannot be fathomed and miracles that cannot be numbered. Next time you look out at the stars, I hope it'll help you worship God.